So remember when I said maybe there is the possibility of a nor'easter? Well, Graphcast sees one about nine days out. Again, though, this does not mean it's going to happen. This right now is being praised as the next gen model that beats everything else, but it's not without its flaws. Believe me, it is far from perfect. It is still going to make mistakes and see potential outcomes that don't happen. It's just likely to make less mistakes than our current operational deterministic runs. So again, like I said, the Graphcast does see a nor'easter here. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but if you're out here, you probably like to hear that our next gen AI model sees this as a potential outcome. And I find it interesting, the other model that we've praised a lot, the Euro model before all of this AI stuff, sees a similar outcome. Again, I'm not completely buying it because it's still nine days out, but I love to look at this stuff. And especially once we get past this time frame, look back and say, was it accurate or how close did it come? The last thing I want to note on this is not only does it see this snow up the coast here and a potential nor'easter, it also sees this snow moving into the northern Rockies, northern plains, and then out through the upper Midwest, just like our European model does. Just as a reminder, this is what our Euro model looked like. So interesting, they're seeing a similar type of outcome. Not to mention they're both seeing this northeastern storm first and then the northern Rockies, northern plains, midwestern storm second.